We're going to bring somebody up here who we're pleased to have in our presence and to bring us some, some love and some light. Please make some noise for the Honorable Reverie Jefferson Jackson. Good evening. I am just so delighted to see this session taking place tonight. I'm in town to speak to the uh, AKA convention tomorrow morning about the showdown, the countdown to November the 8th and saving. Oh, look at him, Dr. King, I'm sorry. <laughs> Several quick observations. I was in Ferguson, Missouri. I'm concerned about all this focus, lawyer, just on the police, 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 police. There's more concern about policing us than developing us. Police are the gatekeepers. What's behind the gate is the real agenda. And I said to a group of students in uh, Ferguson, just after Michael Brown had been killed, his blood was still in the street. So we must turn pain to power and fight back and, uh, and, and bust them. So I, he said, so one student said, so I'm not with, with the voting thing. I'm, I'm beyond that. I, I'm into the movement. It's okay. If the, if the killer came to court, would you vote against him? I wouldn't punk out. I'd I vote against him. I said, you know, only those that are registered to vote can serve on juries. He said, oh, you can't march past the voting booth. In Georgia, there are 600,000 blacks unregistered. I say 600,000. You put another 150,000 blacks on the books in Georgia, you can elect a governor. I mean, you cannot afford to throw away 600,000 votes and expect good results. That's one thing. Secondly, there's, there's the lawyers, the lawyers laid out the law. And that's the interpretation of law. Uh, it, now, in several states, it's illegal to smoke pot. In Washington and Oregon, I mean, in Colorado, not illegal to smoke pot. But don't, don't get sidetracked by the law. You, you have to write smoke pot. You, you can smoke pot, but you can't be an ally and pilot. You can smoke pot, but you can't be an NFL football player. You can't play for the NBA. Can't be MLB. Can't work at the hospital. So why, why go for somebody else's trick? We don't need to smoke pot to prove our manhood, our womanhood. It's, 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 it's the law, but it is a risky use of that law. Second one, one of the tragedies that come out of Dallas was a young brother walking down the street with his AK-47 across his chest. He had the right. First, yeah. Second Amendment. He could have been killed between there and taking it to the police office. They could accuse him of having that for that purpose. It does not make sense for us to walk around with semi-automatic weapons. You don't hunt rabbit with them, nor do you only use them to kill other people. And, uh, and so when we move towards violence, we give up the moral high ground. Say, re say we should never give up the moral high ground. Healing is stronger than killing. Nonviolence requires more courage and thinking than violence. You cannot walk around half on power with these weapons and think you'll get the same standard that they get. Get that point? The other thing about folks, Mr. Professor, on the, on, the, on the legal thing is that police Profile and arrest. Judges profile and sentence. Mm. State's attorneys profile and charge. It's a, it's a system here, right? It's not just the, the police. Right. Say the police, the police have limited powers. Have limited powers. Police, 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 
can search, police can profile and arrest. Judges can profile and sentence. State's attorney can profile and make charges. Jails for profits can profile and keep you in jail long you should be in. in Chicago, that's a 10,000 blacks and browns in Cook County Jail. Some have been there six years in pretrial detention. When they're six years waiting for trial. I'll close on this note. Because in some sense, that when I first went to South Africa in 1979, the big issue was how the police treated the people. When apartheid ended, those guys changed their roles. When, they, when their bosses changed, they changed. So the police work for their bosses. Now, what am I trying to say to you? I'm saying there's a, there's a date with destiny called November the 8th. If you sit on your rump and elect Trump, Yeah, but hear me now. There's a date with destiny on November the 8th, and we have the power to, to sustain our interests. Or we can lose interest, by, and what happened was when we laid back, I remember too well as a young person, Reverend Dr. King, when we kind of laid back, uh, when, when, when Nixon and was running with Humphrey and Johnson kind of arguing about the Vietnam War, Nixon eased in the crack. Nixon won by 500,000 votes, who won by the margin of despair. In the case of Kennedy and Jimmy Carter, Kennedy couldn't shake his hand in New York, and then that margin Reagan came through. Don't lay in the cut and let the right wing step in that gap. I hope I'm making sense to y'all. So stakes, stakes are too high, and our power is too great. Last, I'm glad the president went to Dallas today. I think the people in Minnesota and Baton Rouge deserve some presence too. I think it's important. And the last point is that on the thing about Black Lives Matter, that's a new suit on the on the old old. old that's a, that's a new say, say Black Lives Matter. It's new clothes on the old body. We were considered three fifths of a human being for two hundred forty six years. We mattered then. That was a struggle. Abolition was a Black Lives Matter movement. Between, between 1880 and 1940, 5,000 blacks were lynched. Not one indictment. I said 5,000. We mattered then. And, and students of that day, there are pictures of them marching. And NAA was founded to stop lynching. Black lives mattered. And so I'm simply saying but it must matter in a way that we turn our pain into power. In Chicago, the reason why we're reaching out for a White House conference on violence and poverty and reconstruction. 320 have been killed this year already. 2,000 shot. And the shot costs more than the dead. The dead are buried rather quickly. But those who are shot may cost 50 to a million dollars to sustain them in their wheelchairs. I'm glad to see this education. This is a great session. You're setting the pace. I'm going to take this back to Chicago in a fast hurry. Because this, this must be the kind, we did this kind of mass education on public accommodation, striving to get into riches, bring down those. We had to stop long enough. You can't, you can't, so you, you can't run past can't run good information. Can't you cannot run your shadow. You cannot run your DNA. Say, I am. I Let am. me hear you. Say, I am. I Since I'm here, I am. I am. Somebody. Somebody. Respect me. Respect. Protect me. Protect. Never neglect me. Don't violate me. I am somebody. This land is my land. This land was made for you and me. We bled for it, marched for it, died for it. This land is our land. If my mind can conceive it and my heart can believe it, I know I can achieve it. Stop the violence. Save the children. Stop the violence. Save the children. Stop the killing now. Stop the killing now. Stop the killing now. Keep hope alive. Keep hope. Love you. Once again. 
so honored and privileged to have Reverend Jackson here tonight. 